Hi there and welcome to my channel. My name is Lydia Nabalayo, aka Miss Naba, and you are in the best place as far as faith and lifestyle is concerned. Now, uh, I want to do a kind of a series of vlogs because I have been watching Stefo, Stephanie Nanga. I have been watching her videos and I kind of really loved the way she does her weekly vlogs and I felt like it really does encompass the spontaneity that I was talking about during my birthday, my birthday video. So that is something that I want to, to try. Uh, probably today is on Thursday. I woke up at I woke up at seven, but I had set like a million and one alarms so that like I could wake up, but none of them were successful. Like I had them, and then I was just switching them off and switching them off and switching them off. And the reason as to why i even wanted to just wake up early was because i feel like nowadays anytime i wake up i wake up to my phone because being the class representative of my class <clears throat> i know that online classes are starting you have to wake up and now just like struggle for everyone and now like for us i do become and we have is it six or seven specializations so personally i'm doing marketing and there are other people who are doing finance accounting insurance operations management procurement accounting i feel like if there's one that i've forgotten i don't know but i am really sorry if i have forgotten it so is information systems so you find that i have to like sugarly care them and find out if the mini reps that i choose have called the lecturers or even me myself i have to wake up and call the lecturers and find out if class will be happening if we'll be having any class and it kind of just like jumbles my head because i was used to waking up reading my bible and then praying and then before i cannot start thinking of anything else so i wanted to start waking up early but it's becoming an extreme sport it's becoming an extreme sport i wake up at seven i'm trying to like wake up probably at five or like at six to start um my day but it's becoming hard because during those moments like i won't call the lecturers you get so that's like my personal time so that's definitely something that i'm working on and i think what is making me even be unable to wake up is this series that we are re-watching called the haves and the have nots by tyler perry if you know tyler perry you guy you know his drama you know his drama is like on another level so anyway so um what i have done since i woke up is i've checked on our chicken on our yeah, on our cuckoos my mom bought like cuckoos she wants us to like start being independent with our own cuckoos and one died yesterday <sighs> and that was so painful because she was so sick and you could feel the pain like uh, uh, it was just extremely painful so we decided to like put her out of her misery and kill her and bury her then like literally to the her out of life <laughs> and i'm like uh, and i'm so that is what uh, I have done. I want to now call my 11 a.m. lecturer right now so that I won't be distracted in the middle of my devotional. I want to do my devotional. So what I normally do, like this kakona like where you people see me doing my videos is actually where i do my devotionals because i just love how peaceful it is you're outside you're like in your own car space and you're just like listening from god so that is this is where i normally do my videos like right there you see my like a bible there that is where i normally do my videos so today is all about this young man called Jeremiah the son of Hilkiah so I think I read I think I only read chapter 1 because I haven't written anything yet on the other pages so I only read chapter 1 to don't read from chapter 2 to hopefully maybe let's see but yeah my dream is maybe 7 
these were my notes for for then uh jeremiah this is chapter one where god god knew god knew jeremiah before he was formed before the foundations of the earth were even laid that is mentioned by paul i think in ephesians and it's just like a wonderful reminder to know that wherever you are whatever you are going through it is just like do not worry like god chose you it does not matter where you are right now but that does not mean the calling over you expires the calling over you never ever expires and jeremiah was called onto a big task like the power to create and destroy nations he was appointed as a prophet to the nations and he was at the prime of his life he was really young which is kind of like the age that we are in and like the age that we are in we have plans that we want to do we have made plans like for our lives and then god comes out of nowhere and tells you that he's calling you into something different so i kind of relate with his response here where he says that he's too young but god is telling him do not be afraid of the people and that is basically this is just now what god was speaking to me and he was telling me his promises will always be with us within us is the power to destroy and create uh we have the power to destroy sin any negativity any influences of the enemy and we have the power to build up others like for me i feel i have been called i believe that i have been called to just like speak to people to my generation and to just encourage them and to speak life and to build them up into the purpose that God has called them because God knew them before the foundations of the earth. It does not matter how far they have strayed. It does not matter at all. God knew them. So, yeah. And my sister being the absolute beast that she is, who I love very much, let it focus brought me ugali like she was feeding chicken and she brought it to me telling me i'm also a chicken what jesus christ lord jesus who did i offend it's one minute to a class that we were supposed to have right now it's 11 but our classes have been moved from Google Meet to Microsoft Teams. So I think that is something that is disturbing the lecturer to understand because he had kind of understood how to use uh, to use Google Meet. So I have been cleaning. I have just like uh, cleaned, removed the things that are on the table and made the sofas. Now I want to like stay with my phone on standby so that when the link is shared i can join the class but i'm going to be multitasking so i did not finish my devotional i read up to chapter three because uh noise just became too much it's like people were waking up and then i had to post uh the lg stuff you people know i'm working with lg so I had to post as an influencer. I had to post today's post, which by the way, make sure you go check it. It is Okonko Majors. They they do the passing here. Majors verse on the song, which is awesome. You know, Major, I don't know, but that guy just has something in his blood that makes things really nice. So I want to call my lecturer and find out if he has succeeded. If not, um, I find out whether the class is bouncing or if it will happen. And if it does not, I continue with my cleaning. Class bounced. Class has bounced. So, I now need to be serious and clean the house. And then I got... Uh, ah. I got avocado. I got avocado. So I want to put githeri. Like avocado and githeri slap differently than any other thing with avocado. So for lunch I'm cooking githeri. So I want to clean the house and then cook probably at twelve thirty or somewhere there. And then you know what to do next after that. But also take a shower. 
because <laughs> I need to be. Yeah. Room number one is done. This is like my chair and my this was my bed cover in high school and now I use it to cover myself here because of the cold in Bungoma County and my earphones of course. It's 12 1250 I was to have cleaned two rooms but I've ended up only cleaning one room and sweeping the other one but I have not done quite much our afternoon class has bounced so we are apparently supposed to look for um to to decide on a makeup class which I don't know how we will decide on that but most classes have been bouncing and now I'm wondering uh when will we be joining like will we be resuming school so i'm taking this moment because now i don't have any class i just want to do a quick sit down before we like continue with the class and um first because i keep forgetting to tell you people this uh no before we continue with the video i keep forgetting to tell you people this happy october it's october the first and I thought this video would have been like quite a long video covering like a series of this. Lakini venye kunaenda, I really don't think it's even going to cover even tomorrow. It might end up just being a day in the life or just some random vlog, but a really nice vlog. So, uh, I want to share with you people um, something like yesterday I have been reading from this book god's generals and i was reading about um god's generals the third volume i'm sorry about that chick the hen the the jogo and i'm even sorry about the children that will be making noise here but i've been reading about the moravians uh <clears throat> i don't know if you people have heard them but it was like this group that i think originated from czech republic and then some of them moved to germany and then some of them moved to, to they moved to Germany and made a key colony. They were given land by Count Zinsadorf, and then they made like a, a town called Herrenhut, which means under the Lord's watch in Germany. And then some moved to like US and all those places. But I'm actually even looking for a book that is just covering the story of the Moravians because what I have learned about them is like absurd. And I'd want to like know more about them. And what I was reading was how <clears throat> they did a hundred years of intercession where one day they were just praying and they felt it in their hearts, 24 men and 24 women, to be praying 24 hours, that every hour of the day is covered. And for them, what was uh, what drove their hearts was the desire that people may know christ that more people may come to the realization of jesus and that more people may be saved so that was like the burden that was in their hearts and uh, like they prayed every hour was covered by someone and that prayer chain continued for a hundred years which was like so absurd and just listening i've heard of their stories before and how they are so full of the Holy Spirit and how they were so less of themselves. Like they had surrendered everything to God and all that. So yeah, I'm really curious to know about these Moravian people, but it's definitely like a desire that me I have. Because hmm, I'm really sorry. Because even with my content creation and all that, I keep asking myself and I'm saying like for me yes at some point my mind and my flesh will lean to wanting things to work for me and you know like grow stop making money become famous and all that stuff but then again there's like a battle within where in real sense what i desire in as much as yes it does have a cost i just uh want to be like the moravians i just want the burden of my heart to be God and yeah to just be God and prayer and just you know just seeking God diligently so that is definitely something that I'm really praying to God for 
that I may start being diligent in seeking him just like the Moravians because I really don't know. It's a desire that I've had for quite a long time. I don't know why today I can't like focus on the camera. Like I can't look at the camera. I keep looking like at the trees. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, so that is like basically the desire of my heart to just become more prayerful and to become more just surrendered to God and surrendered to his spirit. Now, uh, this might be unpopular opinion or this might come out as offensive to some people, but you know this Shakila story. I don't even know what happened, but you know how she's like trending. So see, it's because she was in a live with Extendela. So I decided to like go check Extendela's page. And then I saw the page where he was like, uh, the highlights where he is dissing Rington. I mean, I'm just like, what is up with people like me? I really don't think it's nice. The things that people like, just go to them and tell them what you're doing is not right. See at Tina Tetea, Extia, Nola Natetea, Rington. But, like, whatever is happening there, me, I really don't get. Ebu, tell me your thoughts in the comment section. Ju, this is something that Extian even mentioned in Jalangos uh, channel. Seeing at the way Jalangos you did what and what and what. And for me, I really don't think it's, like, the right way to approach such an issue. But then again, he might have been provoked because, again, I saw Rington's video and he's saying that he, when I start praying, the spirit of God will command gay men to come and rip you. Like, which spirit? Which? <laughs> no, I just can't. But personally for me, yes, I, I, I don't even know. But like Christians are not perfect. And yes, some of them do not live perfect lifestyles. But they are trying to glorify God and then there are others that are not. But at the end of the day, as long as they are preaching the gospel of God is well and good. But I really don't think uh, if you try approaching them and they do not do anything about it, I don't think telling people like that is really the best, the best approach yeah anyways ah, since we don't have class i'm going to cook lunch right now i am going to keep people with me we're cooking giveri because of that avocado that avocado so that's what we're going to be cooking then yeah today has just become suddenly so eventful someone started telling me the way i'm useless as as a class representative at SG because I'm just like bruh I'm trying my best I'm trying my best like this is extremely uncalled for but it's okay no bad blood so let's go cook and then shower and then I don't know maybe maybe read because for me I want to start reading because I and to start reading because here I are online classes like exams will just be brought and you'll be expected to do them so I want to just start like teaching myself because that's what we, we do <laughs> as university students that's what we do we teach ourselves yeah I don't which which reminds me by the way like even talking about like extendela and ringtone like me one i just don't like get uh for instance no offense you know sometimes speaking such things you can find like people are going to get mad and do what but let me just say mimi sionangi hajayakua i don't see the need of being in people's businesses like for instance as a when you go like to the Edgar Barry page and then you see like people are there when something happens at oh she's dating this one at oh she, she she did this oh at she was here I saw her oh at he hid oh he 
and then you just like feed on that tea me i'm just like uh uh me i don't live for that i just don't see the need of being in people's businesses that is their life i really don't know why you are trying to meddle in their lives then they're not complaining then they're not sharing it like for instance me here right now some things i choose to share with you some things i don't so them i think it will just be respectful not to share uh things that they choose not to share Eh, like me, see, I like personally no offense, but Miss Yonangin kaina to husu. I don't feel like it husus us at all. Kila mtu ishi maisha ake to pattern a judgment day or something when you are being accountable to God. The only person you can be accountable to is God, not accountable to Ed Gaubari <laughs> or Extiandela. Or, yani, I just don't know. Plus, if someone hurt you and it's a famous person, a celebrity, and that person hurt you, or maybe made you pregnant and left you or dumped you, me just don't see putting them in the public and ashaming them is the right way to go. Because then you're choosing the wrath to be from you, which your wrath is never really enough like other things at Chiamungu there is no dangerous place to leave someone than in the hands of God if someone hurts you and you did not actually you did nothing wrong like it was purely they had purely ill motives from the beginning just leave it to God and God will know how to sort you out and you know how to like fight the battle for you like let me just make this a biblical there's a story about King Asa and King Asa was attacked he was the king of Judah after Israel was split into Judah and Israel he was the king of Judah and then King Basha of Israel came to like see the Israelites were, they are just like relatives two tribes in Judah and the other tribes part of Israel so King Basha decided to come attack Asa and what Asa did he went to an Aramean king another king to seek for help so that this Aramean king can attack the Israelite king so that the Israelite king can stop attacking the, Ju the Judah kingdom and run and see what is happening at home <coughs> and then Yes, it did succeed. He, uh, King Basha retreated and he did not attack Judah. But then God sent a prophet to King Asa and told him, uh, what, like, whatever, basically what he said is what you've done is something temporary. Like I would have given you the power <coughs> to destroy them, to destroy the Arameans if you had come and sought me instead. But you went to human hands and that is just going to be temporary. It's not going to last because you're going to be attacked again. So basically like at your God, you all you're doing is distracting, like removing this person from their focus. But God, when you leave it to God, him, he does the distraction, like destroying things. I'm not saying that he's going to actually destroy people. <laughs> I have not said that, but uh <clears throat> just a moment please let me like just read now this is the verse that i'm talking about second chronicles 16 at that time verse 7 at that time hanani the seer came to king asa and told him because you have put your trust in the king of aram instead of in the lord your god you missed your chance to destroy the army of the king of Aram. Don't you remember what happened to the Ethiopians and Libyans? And it is see, it is see, and it says, uh, the eyes of the Lord, the eyes of the Lord search the whole earth in order to strengthen those whose hearts are fully committed to him. What a fool you have been. From now on, you will be at war that's just what happens to you like if you're going to put the revenge in like your hands 
and let like you fight the battle you'll continue being at war which is in you know to god yes it's hard but like such things especially such major and vast things are cheer to god i'm now in the kitchen but again i just this the battle belongs to the lord is just becoming something extremely profound in like my heart which i really don't i think i've shared i've tried like revolving around it but i have not shared it with you people but i have been in instances which uh whenever i'd be offended or whenever someone would wrong me i decide to take the battle into my own hands and i decide to like revenge on my own and do what and believe you me you continue fighting and you never win it but when you just like leave it to god and you let him fight that battle for you like he's going to fight it for you in his own way and in his own timing and believe you me your desires and you are like a priority in his heart so like basically even in this vlog in as much as yes it's going to be all over the place and it's going to have like a lot of stuff being talked about and maybe it's long but if you've reached this point may I just want to tell you that whatever you are going through and if someone has hurt you and if someone has offended you just let it uh a cheer god do not go and start shaming the person publicly do not go and start do what like every single tear that you cry god never lets a tear of his righteous one go with wasted so like whenever you're bitter whenever you're broken it moves god and he's going to move things in your favor don't i've tried this before and it's something that i still do like me i'm a very impulsive person so if you anger me or if you offend me it's there and then but one thing i've realized with that is that whenever i do that it, it just continues being a constant war and a constant war until i stop and the moment like i stop and i just say okay god you do your thing most of the times maybe it's too late but like when i just stop whenever i feel god tagging me and I decide, okay, let me just stop. And he does his thing. It turns out well. It turns out perfect. Okay, so these are the onions. I cut tomatoes like Indanias for real. So that's why I don't have a plate for them. My githeri, I will be... This I'll put in the rice. Because we're eating rice and githeri, the githeri won't be enough. I'll add some curry powder. Some uh, cayenne. I feel like... Uh, yes it's pepper but I don't think in a kwanga that pepperish so it's like really nice for my brother because him he does not love pili pili the way the rest we love some paprika some, some roiko and uh, huh. what else this this here is is chicken chicken masala or beef masala no we're not going to use it but we put it like in this mini because we bought it in a paper but i'm not going to use it because i don't see the difference between chicken masala and curry powder i really don't yeah picture this beaut with avocado oh my god this is going to be quite a meal and it started raining not much but it's raining so i think i might close this video from here let me put my food aside and then do my closing video so you guys thank you so much for watching this video thank you the fact that you have reached this far i 100 percent 200 percent 2000 percent appreciate that so i really hope you enjoyed it see you in the next video i would have continued i know in the beginning i thought it was going to be like a weekly vlog the week in a stephanie nana do it and one zero g one zero one zero zero one zero one zero yeah the way they do it but I think I talk too much. I need to learn how to like make my videos quite short. But I really hope you enjoyed this video. You learned 
something you learned something probably about prayer or about letting god fight the battle for you and all of that beautiful stuff can't wait to see you people in the next video and uh, bye bye